Doesn't look much, does it? But being able to film openly with the Syrian Arab army defending Damascus, as it says it is, has taken Channel 4 News six months to achieve. We were taken to the edge of Daraya, a rebel stronghold, and given the military booklet on filming rules, in essence, not that different from the British Army one you get in Afghanistan. They didn't want us to identify soldiers by name, face or rank, though one officer was very keen to speak. These people we are fighting are Salafis, jihadists who want sectarian warfare and to kill indiscriminately. Europe's civilized. We know and respect that. But this is part of a global movement, and someday it will be in Europe too. The Syrians say it's just like the British in Afghanistan. We're fighting a war against a global jihad. Many officers seem genuinely surprised Europe isn't joining them in their struggle, rather than opposing. The Syrian government claims this is a battle about terrorism, as it puts it, and says that is a battle which is affecting not just Syria, but all of Europe and beyond. That's their position. But this is a regime and an army with an international reputation for killing, maiming and torturing its own population. Hence the uprising. How do they answer that? History is the judge. Remember, the government, the people and army helped the Palestinian refugees, the Iraqis and even the Lebanese too. History will judge us. What we are fighting now are people who kill women and children, who throw people off rooftops. On the outskirts of Daraya, tanks and heavy weaponry arrives for yet another battle. We were told a sniper is firing from this minaret. In truth, I noted no incoming rounds, but these men were taking no chances. So after more than 20 months of civil war, just what does motivate an infantry soldier in President Assad's army? It's not often you get the chance to ask. The Syrian Arab army will win and our strength will never be overcome because we are fighting for the right side. We are fighting against terrorism and the Zionist conspiracy that wants to take over our country. We are fighting for security and stability in our land over terrorism. As the fighting built up in Daraya, incredibly, a family here who simply refused to move. The man owns a nursery and he showed us the neighboring houses. All had been trashed. We spoke to him out of hearing of the soldiers, deliberately, and he said the rebels wrecked these places to force people out. This is my house, my village. If I go, where would I go? I'm worried about my house. One determined family and determined daughter, 12-year-old Hala. Wasn't she scared of the bombing? No, she said. I'm used to it. You don't know whether that's heartening or depressing. And so they stay, tending the geraniums amid the debris of war. Alex Thompson, Channel 4 News, Damascus.